This is a video requested from Gleason Reptiles. Just asked a question about what you do with stick insect eggs, how to hatch them and set them up. So this is what I do. I use a substrate. I use cocoa peat down the bottom of a Chinese container. I put plenty of holes in the lids. And I write the species of what it is. Um, if I can be bothered, I write how many are in there and the date that I've put them in. So these titans, spiny leaves, and goliaths. Uh, so what I do basically is open it up once a week. Just give them a light misting. So I collect them from the bottom of the enclosures when I'm doing a leaf change and all I do is put the cocoa peat down and then just spread them out in here just on top of the cocoa peat. I don't bury them or anything like that. So I just give it a light misting like that once a week. Now depending on what the species is it varies greatly. Stick insects can take as little as a month to hatch or up to over a year. So don't go throwing them out. They might just be taking a bit longer. So I've got two that have hatched today. Two spiny leaf insects that have hatched. So I'll be getting them out now. This is what I keep all my hatchlings in. It's just a, a container with um, stocking steer tape on the front there. I've got a strong stick insect and three spiny leaves there on the lid. I also use um, young saplings for the babies. They tend to really prefer the tender leaves. And you've just got to keep your eye on them when you've got them out because they do tend to try and do a runner. So once they hatch, I check them daily. Once they hatch, just get them out. Encourage them onto the leaves. This one. I try not to handle them too much because they're only very delicate. Depends if they cooperate. Onto the leaf, buddy. Come on, you'll be much happier there. There we are. So now I just need to make sure that these guys are in before I... I have roughly, well at least two hatching every day at the moment. It's a good time of year. Now I did have a strong insect. Here we are. In you go little buddy. camera down for a sec. There it goes. These two, make sure they don't get their feet caught. I'm popping the lid back on. And I just use paper towel down the bottom of the top, but that's got just some holes on the side as well to ventilate it a bit better. And also I put it in a pot saucer because I have a real ant problem here. Ants have destroyed so many of my inverts so I just get a pot saucer and fill that up with water so if ants climb up over it they can't actually get in. And I spray these guys a couple of times a day. So hopefully that answers your questions. If you've got any more just ask in the comments. Thanks.